Hey guys, how are you doing? Hope things are well by you. Everyone are working hard in this lifetime. Everyone, they have their challenges, they have their missions on earth. Dealing with people, dealing with feelings, with thoughts, trying to fulfill our obligations and at the same time to find our true potential and becoming who we feel, we believe we're meant to be. And uh, and daily errands and things that are pushing you and uh, and um, making you run and uh, and that's it so from that place of running we need also to find time for some Torah learning during our days it's very important for a person every day to connect himself to some insight to some pnimiut of the Torah to the inner part of Torah and um, I promised you in the last video that I made last week that I'm going to share from a certain book legends and stories of uh, the nation of Israel. Um, it's a book that gathered many ancient stories and tales that are um, very inspiring, that, uh, that pours a lot of light on our reality. And I want to share it with you, a small portion of that book. A paragraph and um, and I wanted to mention something before um, yesterday I heard from uh, from from a friend the saying he said that science that that's that like let's say people some people estimates that there are around one million billion ants in the world Okay, that's the first assumption. One million billions of ants walking on earth, working, building, fighting, bringing food, collecting, hiding, whatever, taking care of their babies. And he asked, do you think that one of them is aware to the existence of human beings on earth? Like, do you think that we cross their minds like do they think about what we're going through and that we are people we need to do things we have our children like the simple answer is no we don't have a clue and why is that because their awareness is um, limited to their world and he said and exactly like that they live their life on this planet without even knowing you, without even understanding that you exist at all, because they're just like minding their own business, working. Also us, even though we think that we're so smart and we see all, I promise you that the ant has the same assumption. She also walks, it also walks and think that it knows all. He has his schedule, he has his job, it has his, his mission on earth. It doesn't think too much, just like doing his thing. We're exactly like that. There are such great things that are going on in this world and that are above our level of awareness and we are just not tuned to know them, to understand them. We just think to ourselves with our arrogant mindset that we know all, Oh yeah, me, no, the world and ants and trees and houses and properties, investments and spirituality, hit bodhidut, whatever. Oh, we're so blind. We don't know anything. We don't know even 1% of what that really goes on on earth. And I'm not talking about different dimensions. I'm talking about the reality of what it goes on in the world. And now with this a little bit of humility, I'm going to share this uh, portion with you. So it starts here with a short and very interesting description about heaven. Gana Eden, the Garden of Eden. Ule Gana Eden, and to the Garden of Eden. Asher leorko ul rochbo en katze ve'en tachlit, that to its... Um, size, length, and width, 
I think you say, there is no limit. There is no edge to it. You cannot measure. So that Garden of Eden has Shne Sharim, two gates. Asuim, Asuim, Shoham ve Yashpe. Vechol Even Yakara. They made out of two kinds of stones, mainly one called Shoham, second one called Yashpe, and every precious stone, two gates. Shvashesh meot elef malachim and six hundred thousand angels, Hamazhirim kezor harakia, that are shining in a brighter way, um, in the bright way of heaven, of the sky. Those 600,000 angels are brightening their light, shining their light on those two wonderful gates. Uvagan, and inside the garden, Batavech, in between, Etz Hachaim, the tree of life. You see? Etz Hachaim. Va'anafav Hanechmadim, and his nice branches. Netushim mikze hagan ve'ad katzehu. They are spread from one side of the garden to the other. Ve'chamesh meot elef te'amim, and there are five hundred thousand tastes, ve'richot shonim, and different smells, good um, smells. Um, I think you say senses. I don't know. Richot, good smells. Ish mere'eu, one from each other, they're all different from each other. Ba'etz aniflaze, in that tree. In that tree there are 500,000 smells and tastes that are all different from each other. Vechupot uktarim asuim shoham uvareket uzhav parvaim shtuchim al pnei kol agan. And there are um, like gates and crowns and entrances that are all made out of good stones and special gold and they're all spread all over the garden places you can enjoy and between every one of those small um, ceilings those coverings heights asui there is a separation that is made out of asui, ananei noga, from beautiful and pleasant clouds, uvrakim, and lightnings, velifnim in kol chaitz vechaitz, and in front every wall uh, that is separating from those ceilings, shloshmot vaseret olamot nechmadim veniflaim ad bilti ketz vetachlit, 310 worlds that are so nice and wonderful that it cannot be described. And rivers of honey and milk, and wine and good oil, and springs of roses water, water that smell like roses, not not rechot niflaim gives wonderful smells. Shotfim veovrim ben aetzim. They are flowing and passing and running between the trees. Uvechol achat mi pinot agan and in every one of the corners of the garden, shmona meot elef atzei besamim. Eight hundred thousand trees of. Um, how do you say that word? Besamim. Incense. Good smells like hadas and mint. Veshmot elef malachim and six hundred thousand angels hamezamrim bekol naim that are singing in a pleasant voice and very soothing, relaxing. Ve'arev ad meod very much. Ve'ashemesh mi'irasham shivatayim and the sun is shining over there seven times more. Won't stop from shining for a moment. And the golden beams of her light went out from it. 
and they saw means they met the holy those great stones ve'et barakot of shoham and the stone that is called bareket ve'et hayashpe hamele'ot et agan that all those marble stone all those good stones all those precious stones that filling the garden they the beams of light hit them Vehigdilu et nogham, and they are increasing their light and beauty. Veet zoharam, and the fact that they are shining much, much more now with the light of the sun, the beams of light that is shining seven times more than we can imagine. Umale kola makomau orag dolav niflaad meod, and all that place is full with great light and wonderful and beautiful um, light. Illumination. Umimal leetzachaim, and above the tree of life, inasu ananim mazhirim, they're gonna be amazing clouds that are shining, umeirim ad meod, and illuminating very much. Vehifichu et agan, and they're making the garden, me'ar baruchot ashamaim, from four wings um, of the sky, and they're they're like refreshing the air. They're carrying amazing air. Venazlu besamav and great sense smell. Vealarecham raised and the wonderful smell. Hanifla miktsa olam vad katseu is filling the whole world from one end to the other. So, what that I wanted to say is that we have much to wait for. There is a good reason for us to hold on and to survive and to make good things happen and to do tshuva and to try to come closer and closer to the truth and to work on ourselves to become better people and to keep on begging and asking the Creator to come back to us and not to let the Midah of Judgment run the world to force the Creator to come out from His hidden place and to reveal His loving kindness on us and not to back off and not to give up on His mercy because we been sent to this world to believe in Him and to believe in Him it's like to believe in someone that in the past you did not believe in Him. What does it mean? That in the past you didn't trust Him, He was not loyal in your eyes and now you trust Him. Why? Because you believe in His good intentions. You believe in His good intentions and therefore you can believe in Him. When you still don't know what His motive is, then you cannot trust Him, you cannot believe in Him. But in God we trust, not because it's written on the dollar, just because that we know His motive. Because that we know that He is a good heart, that He is a precious loving Father in heaven, and He sent us to believe in Him. So even though we go through crazy challenges in life, we should never back off from our faith in Him, and we should trust Him. And to believe in Him means to help Him to believe in Himself. Yes, you hear me. We are the reflection of the Creator. When you doubt yourself, you're reflecting the doubts of the Creator in Himself. Like that it's written in Genesis, in Bereshit, that the Creator saw the sins of people and He regret for the creation. He felt bad for what He did. And with the horrible things that took place in creation, sins that started from Adam and Eve and all the rest of the generations are just falling lower and lower, it broke and cracked and demolished the kingship of heaven's ability to reveal its goodness in the world. And like you want to build the confidence of someone, a child in this world, or a parent, or a friend, you should do the same because it, with the Creator. Because this world, Malchuta Da'ara Ki Malchuta Derikia. The kingship of this world is similar and reflecting the kingship of heaven. All those challenges that we're going through in this lifetime are coming to wake us up for us to understand what heavens go through, what the Creator is going through. 
and we need to build his confidence in himself. And this is why in the tefillah we're always telling him, you're the one to heal the sick. You're the one to build Jerusalem. You are the Redeemer. You're the one who saved us. You're the one that's going to save us. We're cheering him up all the time. Yes, we do. And even if some rabbis are freaking out when they hear me saying those things, they can freak out. I don't care. I'll say the truth. I'm going to continue saying the truth. And you're going to follow the inner truth that is shining inside your hearts from within. And don't listen to no one that is coming to break your self-esteem and to downgrade your high self-esteem from being stable and connected to reality. You have qualities and that's who you are. You have talents and gifts and that's who you are. Wonderful things are treasured inside of you. Let them shine and don't back off from what you started. And may Hashem answer all our prayers and come back to us with great love. Amen. The world is not existing. Because Olam Milchon Elem, the world is just blocking the light of truth. The world called Alma de Shika, world of light, is just a fake. We're just inside of an illusion. It's just a fake. We're just inside of an illusion.